I'm Rashmi. I'm the embryologist and the IVF lab director at Tamra Hospital and IVF Center, Rajaji Nagar, Bangalore. This video is going to give you a brief idea as to what an embryology lab looks like at our center and some of the important equipments that are involved in the IVF procedure and the embryo development. So this is the workstation called the laminar airflow where the basic screening of the follicular fluid to separate the follicles and also to change the droplets of the embryos. All that happens in this workstation. This is called the laminar airflow which has an air purifier which uh, called the HEPA filter which filters the air and then releases pure air which should be on all the time. These are the incubators. One, two and three. This is where the eggs after the ICSI are kept for the further development for the next three to five days. This is where the eggs are kept. This is the ICSI machine or the intracytoplasmic sperm injection machine. This is where the eggs and sperm are fused with the help of a microscope. The holding, injecting, in, holding needle holds the egg and the injecting needle. Now the sperms are always motile so the tail of the sperm is slashed so that it becomes immotile aspirated into this injecting needle and then with the help of the microscope the sperms are injected into the egg that procedure happens here so after the ICSI procedure your eggs once they're injected with the sperm they are incubated in these incubators for the next three to five days for further growth and development so in the IVF laboratory we are aiming to provide the same atmosphere and the ambience that a egg and the gametes receive in our uterus to achieve a pregnancy. So in the IVF laboratory, it becomes very important to provide these gametes with good air quality. So at Tamra, we have uh, three air purifiers and also a positive air pressure module to maintain a very good air quality in the IVF laboratory. After the embryo transfer, uh, normally we transfer only two embryos. The rest of the embryos are frozen and preserved at minus 198 degree under liquid nitrogen. And these embryos can be thawed and reused or transferred whenever required. So until then, these embryos remain in liquid nitrogen. So this is the laminar airflow. Here is where the important procedures like uh, screening your follicular fluid for oocytes and the daily assessment of your eggs and embryos and also the loading of embryos into the catheter happens at this very stage called the laminar airflow. So once the follicular fluid is aspirated, it is screened for eggs, eggs are separated and incubated for the next two to four hours in this incubator for the cytoplasmic maturation. After two to four hours, a procedure called denudation is performed where the eggs are denuded or pipetted to remove the cumulus cells that are around the egg to assist the quality and maturation of the egg. After denudation, a procedure called ICSI is performed where a single healthy sperm is injected into the egg. These eggs are further cultured in the incubators, in the incubators for the next three to five days. Depending on the quality of these embryos, the embryos are either transferred on the third day or fifth day into the woman's uterus. The embryos are loaded into the catheter and handed over to the gynecologist where with the help of an ultrasound, the gynecologist deposits these embryos into the woman's uterus. 